show you a few things if you happen to have Parkinson's and you have some balance issues. It's pretty easy to practice right here in your living room or maybe in your kitchen, standing next to a counter where you can hang on to a bar just so that you have some stability. One of the big things that happens is that the feet are unbalanced. The lower legs are unbalanced and that causes you to fall because you're overdeveloped in the back of the roll and not in the front. Some of the things that we don't do are lift the toes up very much. We're just not into lifting our toes. But when we lift our toes and pull back, we're using muscles right down here that we normally don't use. We usually use those calf muscles doing this. But one of my favorite exercises for everybody is back on your heel, up on your toes, back on your heel, up on your toes. It creates a really good balance. You'll notice I'm sticking my fanny out when I go back and get those toes way up, pull high and up and pull high with the toes. And again, let's pull them up and hold and hold and hold and hold. Now, split your feet like this. And if you need to, you can use your bar as a balance. But what I want you to do is just rock back and forth. Eyes are open. You're probably going to be able to balance to do this. Maybe a touch. Keep yourself balanced. And splint again and do the other side. Notice what I'm doing with my heel, with my toes. I'm really working the legs. And I'm forcing myself to actually balance as though I was walking. If you keep practicing things as though uh, you were walking or in a natural movement, when your natural movements are real jerky, by doing this practice and forcing yourself, you can sometimes overcome and make it easier when you're doing everyday balances. Another thing you can do that really accentuates that movement is to take a sofa cushion, put it on the floor, stand up, feet apart, and now try doing that rocking motion. You'll notice that even I'm pretty unbalanced, although I have friends that would say that. But by doing this in this unnatural state, You're going to find that when you step away and you try and do it on a flat floor, it's a whole lot easier. Sometimes ramping things up and making it a challenge will make your everyday motions even extra easy. Do it on both sides. Rock back and forth. If, if you really have balance problems, you might want to make sure that there's someone in the room with you to help you with this.